have 30,000 square feet here. Um, combination of offices and labs and some warehouse spacing. We have nine companies in the incubator right now. We focus in looking at technologies in universities, federal labs, or corporations that we think have either cross-purpose or, or a de definite commercial application. And we will then put together some type of arrangement to work with others on that technology with the ultimate goal of spinning the company out. Natural Therapeutics is a host of technology platforms that are based upon finding bioactive molecules within food safe plants. So basically we're looking for pharmaceuticals or compounds that have pharmaceutical action that are already in things that people consume. We have one product in the market right now which addresses toenail fungus and we have additional materials that are going into the human clinical trials here this year that will address obesity, diabetes, cholesterol reduction, Alzheimer's, various forms of cancer, a pretty robust portfolio of compounds. Two other technologies that have resulted in spin-out companies, uh, one is a welding technology that uh, we've partnered with uh, Delphi Corporation on, which has the ability to join metal tubes together in a very quick and efficient manner without the traditional hand welding that's usually required. It can have a huge impact in the automotive industry by dramatically decreasing the weight of vehicles while actually increasing the strength and safety traits associated with that. And then the third project of the company is called Pasteurization Technologies and it's a technology that uses microwaves to accomplish pasteurization of shell eggs. Shell eggs in the world is still the cheapest form of protein out there. The big problem is, is that there's a high degree of salmonella within the egg itself. There really hasn't been an effective way to pasteurize shell eggs short of cooking them. We think that we'll be able to cost effectively pasteurize the shell egg supply in the United States the same way that you are right now get pasteurized milk. Ann Arbor is a tremendous town. It just made a lot of sense to put up a facility here to help in a small way to help the region develop further economically and technologically. I've worked with numerous organizations in town here. There's just a, a wonderful network of people and, and companies and a broad diversity of technologies that are going on here. And that's not just within the university, that's outside of the university as well.